Well, first of all, so I, my mission was in the Utah Ogden mission, but I got to come to Utah before to the, to the mission training center. And that was just phenomenal. I love the mission training center. I think I put on like 20 pounds in the mission training center. And so it was pretty nuts. But uh, after leaving the mission training center, we went through um, on a bus to the, um, to the mission. And we just got to meet our mission presidents, meet the assistants and got to spend some time with them, get to know them. Um, before they assigned us to different companions. Um, we slept over at the mission president's house that night. And in the morning, we all came through to the mission uh, home and, and got assigned our companions. Uh, it was cool. I, I mean, I, I was just ecstatic to see the companion that I got. We got along like just right off the bat and it was like we were brothers. Um, we went through my first area was Logan. Um, I think the mission president kind of, wanted to play a, a joke on me or teach me a lesson or something like that because I was just coming from a South African summer in, uh, in December to a Logan winter. And if you know anything about Logan, it's the most freezing place on earth in, in winter. And so I was dying with like uh, snow right up, to, right up to my knees and we were walking in a walking area. Um, but I think that it was just kind of a, a formative period for me and, and a period where I got to learn that like, Missionary work is not about having it all cushiony or whatever it is. It's, it's just kind of doing the work no matter what kind of area you put into. And so a lot of snow, a lot of cold, um, but, uh, but we walked around Logan and got to teach uh, a little bit on campus, but mostly just, uh, just in the South Logan area. Um, maybe a memory from, uh, from my first day with my companion. We, uh, he decided that he was gonna, we were going to drop drop the stuff off right at the house and then and just hit the streets and just like get right into missionary work and uh he said all right we're gonna start knocking doors and so we we, we started knocking doors and uh it came actually just to our it was i can't remember it was it was our first or second door and he said he said something to me and i was like don't worry man I got this like I was like stoked to be a missionary and I was like ready to do my first door contact and so I was like don't worry I got this and the lady opened up the door and I just for about five minutes and was like hey like we're missionaries from the Church of Jesus Christ Latter-day Saints we're here to share a message about the true gospel and then I went on for about five minutes and then after five minutes I said he was just like chuckling in the background I couldn't like like I couldn't I couldn't uh, kind of figure out why and I was like, hey, so are you a member of the church? And, and she nodded politely and, uh, politely and she said, yeah, I'm the Relief Society president. I was like, what the heck? It was like r rule number one in the, in the mission field, like ask if they're a member or not, especially in Utah. So, so yeah, that was just a small little memory um, on the first day of, of the mission.